keeping in with the functional pelvis alignment, another malalignment that we can sometimes see is students who rotate their pelvis. So Lavinia will demonstrate that for us. If you would just rotate and just, just turn around and face that way for me. Stay parallel, but with arms in first position. So we're going to ask Lavinia to do just a parallel plie, but to rotate this hip. So what you can clearly see is this rotation. If we look down through here, you can see that the erector spinae are over engaged. They're really very tight and it will engage into the groin, into the hip flexors in the iliopsoas in the front. So correct back for me and come on up. So just once more, parallel plie and demonstrate that really incorrect rotation of the pelvis. So rotation like this, thanks Livinia, come on up and just come out, but keep your arms there. This movement is controlled by the oblique abdominals, the internal oblique, the external obliques, and the erector spinae. So to correct that movement or to maintain your pelvis square to the front, during parallel, during turnout, any movement, you're engaging your obliques and the rotatory component of your erector spinae. Having said that, when you drop into that incorrect alignment, you then over recruit these muscles and you can start to see some low back pain and some groin pain on the side that you've rotated towards. Thank you very much. So it is really ideal that the students are able to understand the activation of their oblique abdominals to help them control this particular alignment to maintain their pelvis square to the front. Thank you. Now, one exercise in PBT that teachers can watch and identify that drop in and sit in the supporting side is in the basic développé devant. So it's very important from the beginning to watch those hips are to the ceiling. And of course, the ball does give the student feedback. So if we go carefully up into the bridge and the student would check. Now they can self-check Right, so they can actually put their hands there and self-check. Now, we don't want to go too far. That's it. So the ribs are moving, sliding the ribs towards the pelvis. And then we take it up to the little toe under the knee, just to there. Now, I'm going to ask Lavidia to drop it out and twist twist. So see, she's sitting straight into that hip. Now notice the ball has gone straight to the side. Now, if Lavidia really uses her obliques and deep glutes, she can adjust it back around and then this is active again. So soft ribs, right? So do it wrong again, Lavidia. Let it go. See, the ball will give them feedback. Now adjust it yourself. Oh, good girl, good girl. Just relax the ribs. That's it. Good, and slide it back down and melt down. Good girl. So taking the time to perfect that position without any cheating whatsoever. Um, it's funny, Miss Marie often uses a spirit level um, to check those hips in class. I'm running around with a spirit level. <laughs> and now one little exercise that also helps train that to strengthen the obliques is also the pass the ball exercise. So this little pass the ball exercise in PBT helps train those uh, obliques and the abdominals to control that twisting around. So I'll ask Lavinia now to take the legs into the tabletop position. Good, and raise the body and pass the ball and turn. And pass the ball, turn. Pass the ball, turn. Good, so we have a lot of oblique strengthening. Thank you, Lavidia, in PBT for that reason, because it's going to help the body stabilize. I think the obliques are actually underestimated 